everyone, my name is Lola. I'm a social worker in Chicago. So today I'm gonna share some tips with you about how I passed my LCSW exam. So I just passed it yesterday and I sent it out the application around like three months ago. And um, from sending out the application, I started to just do some like review uh, every now and then, like never being like very serious about it until I got approval a couple weeks ago and I I just like set up a date and tell myself, okay, this is official, I need to start a studying for my exam now. So technically I've been studying for a while, but like intense studying that has been like only two weeks. Um, so uh, first of all, I want to share with you all the materials I have used and how do I feel about those materials. Uh, about this exam, uh, there's 170 questions, I think you already know, and majority of them are uh, application, basically asking you what to do. So I actually prefer this exam a lot better than the LSW exam, basically because I am not... Um, I'm really bad at memorize, memorizing fact and I'm just a lot bit, uh, a lot easier for me to uh, do the application questions because you know there's a little like wiggle around room they're not like asking very specific memorizing stuff so as long as you know how to use uh, some testing skills and uh, as long as you have already done a bunch of questions you sort of know the pattern you sort of understand what they're asking for so uh, the first materials I actually use for this is this book. Uh, I think a lot of people purchase this book because you know it's the best seller on Amazon. I personally think that this book um, it has a lot of very good information. It is very thorough and that's also the problem because I think this actually has a little bit too much information. Uh, because LCSW exam is more of an application exam compared to LSW. LSW it has like a lot of you know very specific question about memorizing those knowledge points that you learn from graduate school. But LCSW majority of of the questions are like giving you a situation and ask you what to do. So you don't really need to know specific things as long as you sort of understand the uh, what uh, you sort of understand the skills of answering those questions and what are they asking for. So for this book, uh, with this book, I also purchased an app uh, that has I think like a thousand questions for like thirty five dollars. Um, it's uh, for that app. It's basically testing all the things in this book. Uh, it's testing a lot of very specific memorizing knowledge and I found I didn't really do well on that app so if you, if you start using that you're gonna get like really frustrated but to be honest I think it's not a bad app but it's just very different from the questions you will see in the actual exam so this book I wouldn't like recommend you to put too much effort in memorizing everything because you know this is a lot so after I got tired of this book and the app with it, um, I started basically search for other materials. The other thing I used is, because um, I graduated from uh, this program in University of Chicago, social work program, and they had this kind of prep course, and one of my friends took, uh, took that course, and I just borrowed the material from her. I think that one is good. I wouldn't say that that's irreplaceable. I'm sure that there are a bunch of really good materials there. So the good thing about those training materials are they are very precise and it doesn't really include a lot of information that's not required to um, uh, run required for the exam. And um, this thing I found is also kind of helpful. This is the official LCSW, LSW examination. Uh, review course packet. So this is actually very short. It doesn't have a lot of information, but I, I think this is uh, This is a good thing to start with because um, it's really not asking you to memorize every single thing from graduate school 
I also used YouTube a lot while preparing for this exam. Uh, one thing I started with is called Resolution Today. I will put the link down there. So this um, this lady, she is very generous. Generous, like she put like all her prep courses on YouTube. I think that has been helped me a lot just to have like a very clear idea of what they're asking for. She also shared a lot of tips. Um, However, like the only complaint is I suggest you to view her stuff like critically because, you know, as I'm going through the exam and the practice test, I feel like it's not always what she says. For instance, she was suggesting that, oh, most of the questions, you know, when they're asking about like a parents complaining about their children's behavior, like most of the time it's it's de developmentally normal and you will like basically like, validate and provide a little bit of education. But actually that's not always the case. So at least like from the practice test, in the, the child, in, it was, I remember that question, like the child was four and you still, I mean, he, he still couldn't like, he still wasn't like very verbal. So in this kind of situation, it's definitely not develop, developmentally normal. So just wanna, just want you to um, keep that in mind. And me personally, when I'm preparing for the exam, um, I prefer to learn from questions instead of just like start memorizing a book. I feel like when when I'm actually going through the questions, I have a good idea about like which area I need to probably put more effort on and basically what they're asking, like what are some of the skills that you need to uh, need to have when you're answering those questions. So I basically, whenever I'm doing some practice questions, I sort of like write down the notes uh, I like I have this notebook basically write, writing down like a lot of like random stuff like for instance um, you you have like uh, there are a lot of like very common diagnoses they're asking for and like the time span and a lot of the terminolo terminologies that appears a lot and then um, like a lot of the questions they're asking you like safety is always a priority you see like whatever situation for instance like a suicidal client and what you what you do first like a lot of time they're asking you to like do assessment or whatever like make a report a lot of that you know once you have done a bunch of questions you actually can have like a better understanding a better idea about what they're asking for and what is the preferred answer I'm sorry that's my cat Okay, um, other things I have done is uh, at my, in Chicago, there's a, uh, it's called Social Work PRN. So it's like a training center and they have some kind of, uh, some like old testing materials, uh, basically like old testing questions. Some of those are old, up, uh, outdated with the uh, DSM-4, but you know, I think it's still a good practice. And finally, um, I think, the $85 official ASWB practice test, that is like the best $85 I've ever spent. I definitely recommend you to do that. And I'm sorry, I need to get, I need to do something with my cat. I'm sorry, hey, bye. Bye Toulouse, Toulouse, hey. Okay, all right. So I would definitely recommend you to buy that $85 um, exam and be very, very, just dig into it. Just uh, read through all the explanations about like why you did not get it right. Like what do they exactly want you to think in that kind of situation. So you can reapply those cases into the real, real test. And um, the other thing is, uh, there's this, uh, this uh, what's his name? I think his name is Philip Latrell or something. Well, if you search for LCSW test, uh, 
Prep on uh, in, on YouTube and you'll be able to find him. So he got like a bunch of questions. Uh, he got a bunch of videos about basically like going through some questions. So he's like a private tutor. He's awesome. And he's gonna, um, I think the most important thing is for his videos is it's, he has this acronym and he will walk you through of how to apply those, which I found extremely helpful. And it's also like a relaxing way, you know, when you're, it's when you want to take a break, but you don't want to slack off. So like watch a couple or a couple of videos of him. I think that's pretty helpful. Finally is do not be too stressed out about memorizing all the facts, like memorizing all the medications. It's, it, there's going to be like one or two questions about medications, but you don't need to memorize those all. Like arrogant stages and all of those, those are good things to know, but it doesn't mean that those are the only thing that's in the exam. So I really suggest you to start practicing questions as soon as possible and then while you're doing those questions go back to your study material and look for whatever that you're missing um yeah i think that's pretty much it and uh if you have any questions feel free to comment and i'm also doing private tutoring i think i have a lot of very good experience to share and i can go through some questions with you so if you're interested in that also uh, send me a message uh, okay, all right. Um, thank you for watching and everyone good luck.